telling us that the Earth is flat? How is that? No, I mean, again, it can look if the like... the first it, situation it, was true, how can this possibly be true? How can you possibly be looking at this and still go, well, yeah, that means the Earth's flat. No, 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 this right. does I look like curvature. Like, the fact looks... that I'm seeing stuff obstructed on the horizon tells me the Earth is flat. How? No, no, it can look how? like curvature, and that's the, why I say we need a hypothesis. Is it curve, or is it something else? So we now know that what, what the... Um, because the horizon is not physical. Does this match what we would see? If, if the Earth was a globe, does this kind of match what we, you think we would see? No. Or would it be look different? No, no, no. Because um, if we're really on a, on a globe, that beyond that horizon, the Earth would be dropping away in reality. Yes? Well, don't you see the buildings dropping away? No, they're all, they're doing, they're, all they are is magnified towards the horizon, giving the illusion that they are beyond the curvature. So, okay, so if it's magnified, why can't I see the land and the buildings that are that are closer to me that are being that are being obstructed? What do you mean? Why you can't see them? Because everything is being pulled down Again, as everything. So the ground is the ground gets. The ground is ramped up. I keep, keep, on, keep, keep telling you, and you, you keep kind of missing this. There's uh -huh. an island with buildings on it that are taller than me that I can't see. No, no I, I hear what you're saying. saying. I hear what you're saying. But well. what's happened here, like I said, because um, of the magnification, it pulls the buildings towards the horizon. Okay. So you so say every... something's become so magnified you can no longer see it. Is that what you're saying? It's been, this island the ground with a ramps runway up. on it. Yeah, it's yeah. It's just so magnified, you can't see But look at that. He looks like a hump it... there in his video. So it looks... So the ground has been raised up, and the buildings have been pulled down. So it gives the illusion yeah, yeah. like it's curvature and going over the horizon. But in actual oh, fact, just, if you remove that lens... gibberish. That's not true in any way. It's not way. gibberish because we have an we experiment. We have experience of that ever happening. We have an experiment to back it up. What experiment? What experiment? Ah, let you ask. Let's get that experiment. Day two. Is this going to be Skeeva's If it's the Rob Skeeva one, I have a video on that. Yeah, I mean, let's take a look at what you've got. MIT professor. It's the Rob's, you're going you're gonna to do get the Rob Skeeva one, aren't you, Ikemo? The Fresnel lens, atmosphere. You can yeah, replicate it. Yeah, That's all part of the science. Okay. These are the great observations, people. I'll atmosphere. just say that while we're in this sort of... Well, thank you. Yeah, I think it has a funny video, man. Like that That's a great bomb. video there, and it shows yeah, how people can be deceived yeah, by what sure. looks to be... Chemo. Yeah. Chemo, can you explain why Rob Skiba traded out a regular magnifying lens, like what was used in that uh, that uh, news program? Why he traded that one for the Fresnel lens? Oh, it doesn't have to be a Fresnel lens. You can use an ordinary magnifying glass. No. that He used a Fresnel lens on purpose oh it doesn't matter about the lens that's what i'm saying i've got it all i told you i've got the facts the figures the numbers everything you need to get through and transition from globe to flat now no, look don't. here it, is it, um no, and, and... here's an experiment here that's uh without the finale lens and lens is in this one but also just a regular magnifying glass a large magnifying glass and we can replicate your your observation whatever you observed we can replicate, try to understand the words, we can replicate what we see in the natural and physical world with an experiment, right? Come on, do you ever get tired of this, man? Let me see. So you see, so, yes? Just, just every fucking day for you, every day. So that's the idea, is that can we replicate what we see in the natural world? And the answer to this question... What are you question, replicating it with, Demo? Yes. We're able to replicate what we see actually. I think Merle just came out. What are you replicating it with, Kimo? We are our hypothesis I'm is, is um, atmospheric looking, lens. I mean, we can see the lens in, in, in the atmosphere already. We can see it's be magnified. We can see lots of distortion. Things are a lot larger. So that would be a good hypothesis to say lens in. And then you can replicate. Hey, uh, Kimo, where in the video are you replicating this? I'm trying to find it. Give me his timestamp, please. Yeah, let me get yeah. you that. Day four. So the replication. You want to begin from one minute 
one minute. Well, you can get the first one at one fifty seconds, then straight after that at one minute. One minute and fifty seconds. No, no. Start at fifty seconds. Then that's like with a lens, and then the one right after that at one minute twenty. 20 seconds we've got a normal magnifying glass yes so yes yes what 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 is that so if we put it side by side if you want to build an obstructed like that in an experiment we just no no no, 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 no. That one is a finale lens, but the one after it is a magnifying glass. Why? Because Chemo. Yes. It, it, do you know how a magnifying glass? Wait, do what's, you know how magnifying wait, 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 hold on. Uh oh. And what's blocking the what's blocking the bottom of the magnifying glass? What do you mean what's blocking the bottom of the magnifying glass? Why can't I see the bottom of the magnifying glass, Chemo? There's something covering it up. That's the illusion, right? That's the lens in effect. No, there's something in front of the magnify the bottom of the magnifying glass. Something. What is that? Take a screenshot. Let me have a look. What are you look? Take a screen. What are you talking? Chemo. Yes. Where is the position of the? the apparent magical magnifying glass that's in the air where is that relative to the person viewing through it why is the the, the so it's actually more um obvious at the horizon it's actually everywhere but at the horizon is where the magic you might, you might want to say takes place that's where we see a lot of the effects <laughs> at the horizon okay. Yeah? okay can can you explain that mechanism what lens in yeah, I posted, I, I posted the screenshot. No, no. The mechanism that you just said. Yeah. Well, the, the phenomenon that you just said, that it's supposed to be at the horizon. Can you explain the mechanism behind that? That would just be down to the distance, I guess. Because um, obviously, the closer you get to that point, things become more clear and less distorted, because less magnified. There, there's, um, there's a bit of a, sorry? A bit of an issue. It's a bit of an issue, okay? okay. This would mean that a vertical uh, kind of collection of mysterious particles that would be isolated in one specific point that's always equidistant to the observer, right? It's always at a an exact position in front of the observer no, it's because the ground is so dense. All the um, that know. has nothing to do with looking through the air. Please try again. Yes, because the uh, the surface is so because all the gases and whatnot, the water, whatever, comes from the you know the ground. That's where okay. the most concentration is. Now, so if you were to go you're higher, already, you're already having issues with that because mm -hmm. your your magnifier, mm -hmm. your magnifying glass analogy. Mm -hmm. Right, your analog yeah. has the a uh, smaller density towards the edges. More density right? towards the edges. Where's the edge? I'm, t I'm talking about your analogy, right? That's the only way that that works. The edge, the edge of what? Where's the edge? <laughs> the thinnest part of the magnifier is towards the edges. Top. Not a top. The edges around. It. No, it's, it's... the thinnest part would be the top. Not yeah, around it. So the bottom would yeah, be the most. Then that would, have you ever used a magnifying glass? Mm -hmm. this, this is this is one of your issues. Mm -hmm. There there has to be a, at a certain distance. What happens to if you take a magnifying glass and you hold it out in front of you? Yeah. Right. Just at arm's length. What happens to the images within that? Yeah, I mean they can um, be magnified. Yeah. No, no. When you're looking at a distant object through a magnifier that's held in front of you, not at your eyeball and you're not looking at it real close, but arm's length towards an object that's further away from you than, than a few inches from the magnifier. 
what happens? If we look that at that something end? further away, it gets smaller. Yeah. No. No chemo. It does. It, it does a really simple thing, and also how cameras work and your eyes work. It flips. Okay. So, with your magic magnifier in the sky, why is it not flipping? Why would it flip? We don't see things flip through a magnifying glass. <laughs> yes, you really. Yeah, I you sure? I've never seen a magnifying that. glass. Chemo probably doesn't understand things flip. Show me something flipping through a magnifying chemo. glass. Let's have a look. He's dumb. Do you not He's know this, chemo? <laughs> yeah, he knows <clears throat> fuck all about optics and shit. He's literally been in this room for like six years, just spewing ridiculous. Oh, there's the picture. Oh no, that's not a picture. Does. Oh, that is a picture. Oh, here's a video. What's the yeah. timestamp? Yeah, this is, yeah, it's, it's, it, children know this. So, uh, why is it that you don't understand that the way a magnifying glass works is at a certain distance, it will flip the Im image because of how the light is being refracted? Okay. It's actually how your eyes work and cameras work. And yes. <laughs> What does this have to do with the atmospheric lensing? Hmm? Yeah, according to you, it's a magnifier. That's why you use a magnifier as an analog, right? Yeah, but, so we sometimes, part, but sometimes we do what? have things no, flipped upside down, right? It depends on the condition. <clears throat> the entirety of everything would flip upside down. Sometimes we do have things flip upside down. No, not things. I'm not talking about a specific thing, like a small little bit of uh, superior miraging or anything like that. No, 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 no. The entirety of the of everything. Oh, that flip. depends on the condition of the atmosphere at that point. The things do flip upside down. You yes, missing? you're right. What, no, no. What part are you missing? Not that you said. You do things one. flip upside down? I said yes. Sometimes the things can flip upside thing. down. Not just, not a mirror image at a select point. I'm not talking about a mirror imaging. I'm talking about the entirety of everything would flip up. No, no, what would appear in the sky? The clouds would appear underneath. It doesn't work like that now. Why not? According to you, according to your magnification theory, it would. No, you've got temperatures. Um, yeah, that, that has nothing. You're, you're, you're waffling. That has nothing to do. You're claiming that there's some magic lens in the sky that's situated about three miles or so from you mm -hmm. at all points, depending on whatever whatever weather conditions that create it. Yeah, and if sometimes true, things flip upside down, then sometimes they don't. Distance, then from that distance, mm -hmm. everything would get flipped upside down. Not all the time. You know, sometimes you know, you know, things the get The entire flipped. field of view. The term is yes. no, 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 like no, upside down. Not just items. Listen to him. He's trying. You're not getting it. The I am getting it. He thinks view, everything is flipped him. upside down. You're That's talking not what it works. That's not how it works. The entire field of view would then be turned upside down. Not just items. Because remember, you've got temperature flow going through the atmosphere. Yeah, you wouldn't have a uniform magnifying said. glass. What are you talking about? Why not? Because I've just it told you, you've got a temperature flow, you've you got a it. current going through it. Uh, where? Through the atmosphere. Uh, yeah, where? You seem to think that all this occurs three miles away from you. Right? Three, three miles away. It can happen at, um, ten miles away from you. Depends on what the atmosphere is like. Okay. So ten miles away. So you really don't understand perspective, do you? Well, that's we can see 10 miles away if you're one foot off the ground. No, you're not paying attention. Uh, with perspective, these effects that occur, right? If this, occur is, if this effect is occurring 10 miles away from you, right? This magnifier that you're claiming exists, mm -hmm. right? It still has to abide by the laws of perspective. Well, in this well, instance... Perspective, in this it would be so... So able to consistently fuck it up if he didn't know it. You're basing this all on your calculation. What this is based on is what we see people. in reality. 
So we see magnification. This is our observation of magnification and how magnification works. We see magnification in the atmosphere. We see things upside down, Where? as you said. And it just depends no, the on the temperature of, the of that will control down. how that lens in operates. Where do we see magnification, chemo? Black Swan. BB Bebo for Life's video. And what looking at it right now? Where's the magnification? At the horizon. Wait, how's it magnified? It makes the building look larger than it actually is. No, it didn't. Yes, it is. The Black Swan. The, the, the Black Show Swan it. has perspective within the image. Yeah, but it's making the uh, platform on the on the one day look larger than it actually is. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It looks. It, it's the same size. No, but it looks larger than one no, on, on one day than the other. No. Yes. It doesn't look larger. It, no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. They're, it's the same size. You can do an overlay. Of course it's the same no. size, but it looks larger due to magnification. No, it's not. You can't sit there and say that it's larger when it's not larger. Magn when something's magnified, the entirety of it is magnified. No, it depends on the weather. It depends on the temperature. Dude. On, You're yeah. tired of just being argumentatively wrong. We've got the black swan right here. shows that they're different sizes. They're not different sizes. It looks that way, not in reality, just the magnification. Saying it look, it doesn't even look that way, Chemo. Of course it does. Being stretched is not the same as be becoming larger. No, why, not, why don't you tap out, Chemo? It's not physically it's larger, is it? But it looks it's that way due to the magnification. Something is not larger if it gets taller and gets narrower. That's not what magnification does. Yeah, it brings it towards the horizon, given the illusion. No, it doesn't bring it toward the horizon. It stretches it or squishes it. Like your mountain pictures, it Annie. Horizon. That is brought towards the horizon, magnified. No, no. That, that would, that, that's not true. They're look, look at these objects. They are squished or they are stretched. They're not brought to the horizon because they're narrower or wider. No, you guys are arguing with him. He literally doesn't know what magnification is, and he's arguing a point about magnification. You just, literally just don't know babble. anything about I'm science uh, or and, what and you're talking him, about. Tell him it's okay, Chemo. You go play in the It is okay, so let's see what you know about where Chemo you live. What's the, the shape truth, of the earth, Nidhogg? You can so consistently avoid it. Exactly, nothing. Silence. It's, a, it's okay, Chemo. It's okay. It is okay that corner, you can't prove where you live. It is okay, that's fine. We move forward, you complain about it, and we show that you have nothing to show for it. So it is yeah, okay. No, we show that you're coming in and show you how you're wrong. Every in the corner day. with your magnification. So you can carry on moaning and complaining like an old person who's ready to retire. We will continue to raise awareness that people like yourself have no evidence, no science, and believe in fairy tales from a book. Yep, that's fine. That's yeah, so fine. you sit in your that's corner you, and you go and read your fairy you, tale book and pretend you're on a spinning board. Thank you, Kimo. There you it's go. Okay. So now, got, back to the we, black we swan. Be both for life. We got it, Kimo. Exactly, black you got it. And, well, and hold on. I thought you were reading your fantasy book. And optics. We got it all. It yeah, is, we got it all. So, with the black swan, it shows us that the horizon. Yep, black swans and magnification. Why are you so triggered, Nidhogg? Pressures and flats, gases and all. We got Why are you it. so triggered? You're good. Calm down. Relax. It's, it's, it's okay. okay. No. Remember? No, it's not okay. We got it. You got it. Your point has been made. We all agree and understand. And your point has been made as well. We heard you. Yep. We were moving forward so and you continue on. to bring it back. Nope. Moving on. Let's we're move good. it on. Keep so the on. black swan, as always, shows oh. us that the horizon is no, not physical. And that any time there's an obstruction, we can pause, we can wait, knowing that the horizon will either be behind the object, a little lower, or maybe a little higher, depending on the atmosphere and the temperature that day. That's how we understand it. Preaching to the choir, Kimo. We all agree with you. So unless you, uh, you, you're doing a sermon, you don't need to anymore. No, no, what this is raising awareness, Nidhogg, uh, because there are liars we are out there aware. pushing a Everyone lie. Everyone in the room is fully aware of your point. It is a point that has been made for six years. Your point has not changed. We are all painfully aware. And you've just made your point for two minutes. What's the problem? What's the difference? Yeah, you've made it for six years. You've made it for two minutes. Yep. 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 See how concise I am versus you? Yeah, concise. So okay. Six, seven on. years. You, two minutes. Yep. Concise. Stick to you two minutes, two minute man. Okay. 
and let the other people who can go for the long haul, okay, deal with the information, the truth, and raise awareness. Right, two minute man? Nope, that's good. Hey, so Zanuck, tell me about car racing. No, we're not going to sit here socializing in a little circle, jerk. Sure we are. What kind of car do you want? Sure we are. Sure we are. No, we're so not. Zanuck. That doesn't prove the globe. Have that doesn't ever, prove the shape of the have earth. Have you ever driven on the Daytona 500? That doesn't prove where we live. That doesn't prove space. That doesn't prove rockets work in space. That doesn't prove satellites. What are you talking about? If you want to socialize, there are pubs, clubs. You go and find a partner, find a woman to talk to, tell your problems, find a buddy, have a drink with him, relax, grow old, chill out, retire. But here, yeah, and here we focus on the most important thing, which is the truth. Chemo, chemo proves a lot of things, actually. It proves that fictitious forces are real. It proves that you can have gas pressure without a container. Racing is actually very uh, encompassing for a lot of the things that you don't understand. Why do you think you have wings on the back that actually produce downforce or lift? Why is there pressure, pressure differentials in the front of the car that are very high versus what surrounds it without a container? Why do you think you get forced out the back, the side window of your car when you're taking a turn? That's too many these questions, that, these Sonny. Are, these are forces, these are pseudo forces that you don't seem to understand. That's too much. You, you're um, shotgunning, scattergunning. You're no, no, firing just, lots of questions. I just gave you two one. things. I gave you two ideas. I gave you two things that I, I'd like to do things in twos or threes so they're easy to you know, grasp onto and hold on to without forgetting or losing track. So high pressure, no container. And, and fictitious forces. So those are two concepts. That Just to quickly answer blue, blue the reason why it's in front because it's not physical blue. It's not physical. It can not be physical. anywhere. Okay. You can, you can measure. You can measure. You can measure the pressure at the base of the windshield. There's no movement of air, and it's. Much oh, you want to talk about pressure, Zanik? Are we changing topic? No, no. I just we talked about you not understanding your physical physical world around you. You mentioned that. You, I'm quoting you. I do like the you pressure the discussion. Physical. You don't understand the physics. I'm giving you two areas of physics, which you and your What are we talking are about? The horizon about. or pressure? I gave you two aspects of your arguments that yeah, you said we do not understand. The I'm telling swan. you, you don't understand because you don't understand that you don't need to have a container for gas pressure and you don't need, mm -hmm. uh, you, and you can have fictitious forces mm -hmm. that are very real. What are you talking about? We don't need a fictitious force. We've got mass, attracted mass, when BioDuel provides the experiment <laughs> of two course. objects moving in a vacuum. What gravity, are you talking about? Gravity is a fictitious... No, 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 no. It's a real force. It gravity. pulls the atmosphere down yes, to the Earth. It's, it's a but it's considered a fictitious no, force. No, Zanik. We're not hearing that. We're not it's hearing that. A reference frame. No, we're if not hearing falling, that. Mass why do you feel weightless? Zanik. If you're falling and accelerating, why do you feel weightless? Zanik. Mass attracts mass. The guys wouldn't lie about this. They're going to conduct an experiment. Gotcha. Cavendish. Yes. Mass attracts mass. Yeah. We all agree. Right. So what as are you talking about? Uh, as, a con as a consequence of the warping and, of space-time. Well, I don't know about that. Not, we're not testing for that. We're not testing for that, Zanik. That. We're not testing. We're testing. Does mass attract mass? Okay. Yes. Chemo. Several people have already done this. No, no, no. It hasn't been done yet. No, 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 no. Yes, it has. We're about been to change the game. Blue is, Blue is currently doing it right now. Oh my! Exactly. Currently doing it right now. Has anyone before today done Cavendish in a yeah, yes, yes. Right. Yeah, provide it. Show it. it. Okay. Too. Let's see it. Let's see it. I've already showed it to you. You showed me a paper. Again, you. You've already seen the video. Oh, your video that you admitted wasn't in a vacuum. Yeah, I admitted it wasn't in the vacuum. But what are you talking about, dude? We're moving up from that. Chemo. We're moving you up the next level. That no one's done this experiment, and we've shown you countless times that other people have already done this. All right, listen up. It's already been done in a vacuum by on a paper. A piece of paper says it's been done. So we don't need anyone like no, Blue to say it's been done outside of a vacuum. We don't need that experiment anymore. We need the inside vacuum one to be seen. That's it. Well, then. Well, then do one. Do We're one. doing it right Get now. BioDuel said last year. BioDuel not doing anything. BioDuel Bio promised Bio he came in it. like um, a cowboy came, in the town. Right? To the experiment. I was do a it. stupid flat That's earther really who Brilliant. doesn't know anything about science or gravity. And he was like, yeah, it's been done. I can show gravity in a Cavendish. Mass attracting mass, you morons, to that effect. And like, he went to a college, he went to university, 
that failed then he went and bought everything and now we're just waiting for the results okay so until that's done you always need more constraints more details and what are the results? What are you once these results, these results come in you all saying you can just have a yeah, once, you, once the results come in, we have the force. We have a force. But until then, we've never, ever, ever, ever seen mass attract mass in a vacuum. I know what you're trying to do, Kimo. What do you think? I think it's even more problem in a vacuum. I don't think. Why well, say it's been I done? Think it would show, I think it would attract <laughs> more in a vacuum. Exactly. I think, you would, I think uh, if it did really work, you would see a good attract. You would see it move nicely. You know, you wouldn't have to struggle to see it. And how are you going to... And Kimo, how are you going to move the goalpost when we show you that it does the same thing? No, that's it. That's egg in my face. I'm done. I can't see how I can come back from this. That's why I say you would never, ever, never, ever show Cavendish in I, a I don't believe that. Well, again, we've already been through it. Because I just posted a picture of them doing it in a vacuum. No, you haven't. You showed a picture. That's not an observation. Uh -huh. Oh, it has to be a nice right. pretty video. Look, you can okay. mock it all you like, right? But it's not an observation. Uh, you don't see it. You don't have it. Uh, You've written about it, but you can't produce well, it. How has any science ever? How has any science ever done before moving pictures were invented? Look, all that's been done to support the heliocentric lie. Now, if Don't it's give me true, tell me how they did it. If if a camera and moving picture is required, how was science ever done prior to about nineteen hundred? No, 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 you're moving the goalpost now. That's what you're doing that you're saying that I'm I would do. The goalpost. I'm saying that I would do that and you're question. doing that. I'm where saying that if it's been done... Yes, we're in the scientific method. It says that you've got to have a fucking video. You see? You see? You see? You're just being oh, silly. Again, silly, silly, silly. Where is the requirement for video? Again, you don't even have to do it. I told Bio not to do it because we already know the outcome, right? But you guys have the ego thinking, oh, yeah, we've seen it, we've done it, we can repeat it. We're showing you that it can't be done, it will never be done, and that gives us the driving seat position because you don't have that force. Without that force, no, no tides, you know what, no you uh, know what, you know planets what, orbiting. You know what? Yeah. You know what, Kimo? What? You're gonna keep on until you piss me off, and I'll do it. And you You're bet not your ass. No one's gonna do it. I'm telling you, that's the point. That's why it's never been shown. I've been asking for many, many, many years. Not just one. You're not the first person I've asked. Why do you think I'm so confident in this point? We've got the top people trying to address this point. And not one of them have been able to show mass attracting mass in a vacuum. Simple as that. Oh, really, Kimo, come on. I've shown you half a dozen, I've shown you half a but, dozen papers, Kimo. But until Bio is going to be, it is going to be a star, back. he's going to be it's famous right, he is, because he's going to be oh, the first oh, person. You're not talking about You're talking about Kimo. Bio Jill will be the first person in history show live mass attract like the only cause of the objects moving no one's ever done this before we've always had a cause as far as i know he's not doing you got a well problem. again he made promises you know he'll have excuses we know it's coming we did warn him we did tell him not to bother oh, yeah. he wants to bother it's up to him whether he does or doesn't doesn't matter either way we already knew him. i gave you next next month's news last week i said he's not going to do it Okay, we already saw the future on this, and um, we expect no results. Is he talking? Light is there. It's flashing. Not talking. Here's the here's the paper that I'm about to post. Oh yeah, we've got tons of paper, dude. Tons and tons. If you ever run out of toilet roll in the crisis, you know, like the rolls, Kimo, we've got tons of paper. Kimo, you're arguing that if it's not on YouTube. It doesn't exist. No, no, no. Again, if he wants to invite me to where he is and show it live. Not a key. I'm not talking about it. I'm not talking but about But I'll accept his video live. I'm but referring don't listen to, to all that nonsense. Your, I'll accept it if we see it away. live. And then it's, it's good night away. for Flat Earth, Sorry. Bio. I tell you, we'll hit them hard. Okay? We're like, look, we've got a force. That explains everything. Now you explain your he side because we've got the force. Right? That's what we're looking for. We're looking he to have... Confidence like that on the globe side with actual evidence. Can't uh, take Kimo. anyone anyone on if you don't have any evidence. Kimo, yes. If you disagree mm -hmm. with any of the experiments that are shown on YouTube, yeah. and all of the ones that are just in scientific papers, which have nothing to do with YouTube, right. then you yourself can set up. You can purchase a Cavendish. Uh, the, whole, the experiment yeah. itself, you, you get all the equipment for it, yeah. stick it in a vacuum chamber, 
I know. And perform the experiment yourself. I know. Of course I could. But so it's not I my claim. Do. I would never try Yes, to it is your claim. claim. It is your you? claim. Kimo, it is your claim specifically that it will not work in a vacuum. You're the only one making that claim. Not only won't work, that claim. I just mean you won't it's get you. the uh, attraction. It's you to prove it, Kimo. Come on, There'll be no attraction in a it's vacuum. Your claim, it's your responsibility to prove or disprove it. Look, guys, if there was an attraction in the vacuum, you'd have shown it already. There is no attraction Who's in you? the vacuum. If there isn't, then then you could. If you believe that there isn't, then you yourself can do the experiment to prove but that you there believe isn't. there is. It's been done already. You said you're the one who is in contention, dude. I'm not even that's denying. I'm saying the one that's been done already. Show it. I don't care. I don't care about the one that's been done already. I don't care about the thousands, possibly millions. I don't done need already. to do it. You're it's been done, bearded devil. It's been done. You're it's been your done. Claim. Tap dancing around it isn't going to help you. What? You're not, are you deaf or something? It has already been done in a vacuum. Many times. Many, many, many times. Why do I need to do it if it's already been done? You're the one who's claiming Oh that my it goodness me. Well, I'm not anything. arguing with the one that's in the. We haven't seen it in the vacuum for me to say, right, let me try it to see if it works yeah. or not. There's well, nothing not? to be seen. I'm showing it to you. You're not getting it. I would repeat this if I saw Cavendish in a vacuum. But nobody why? has ever seen Cavendish no, no, wait, in why? a vacuum. Because, hold on, Timo, somebody had to first do it, right? That's what they tell us, yeah. That's what they say. Okay, so by your, by your logic, hmm? no one would ever do it because it had never been done before. No, no, that was the... Uh, the You're of the... saying that there's no video. There's no video of it. Sure, why not? We'll go with that. Mm -hmm. So you would be the first person to videotape no, it. BioJewel will be the first to live stream it. He's going to live stream it. He's already, bought the, va he's it? already bought the... Ca he's already bought the vacuum mm -hmm. chamber. You've already stated that he's not going to do it. No, he, he didn't say he's not going to do it. Blue's just saying he doesn't want him to I do it. I said you stated... You stated that he's not going to do it. I think he's going to fail. Yes, I think he's going to fail. Okay, so so there you go. So according to you, the person no, 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 who's no. he's going to do the experiment, but I feel he's going to fail how with the results. Know? And and if he doesn't show it, then how do you know he ever did it? He's going to live stream it. Are you sure? Yes. Do you believe this person? Yes, implicitly? we spoke about this. In, this was last year. He's. You just understand, do you? So I'm just like talking away, my talking, our well, normal talking, our, there's ago. no gravity, no mass. He's like, oi, Hold on. I can this show there's mass attracting mass. I was like, what are you on about? He's like, yeah, in a vacuum. I've seen it at college and university. I was like, come on, dude, don't be silly. He's like, yeah, you know what you're talking about? You silly flat earther. I can go to the university in a few days and I'll show you. I was like, okay, fine. You come back in a few days. Oh, I can't find one. Did I, I said, okay, <clears> fine. Said okay, I'll think, go and buy one off, think, off the web. I think you ought to stop. And then now we're waiting. We're in January. This was December, why January, why February, you, March. Wait till he's in here to help. We're in yeah. March now. This was December. He said this. I believe your story, Kimo. I think you're just lying about it. I don't believe a word of it. Why don't you wait till Bio deals in? He understands the situation. And, and you take you take him on face to face. How's that? So you're just upset that um you know he might be the first person to show huh. mass attracting mass. No, no, you're just upset that I have whipped your ass time and time again. He's going to be the That's first person, you, Blue. He will be the man. Because if this happens, you know, again, you've got the force. You know, you know, yes. He knows as well as I do. It's been done a hundred times, a thousand times. I agree. Times. I don't it's know been how done many before, times. So let's have a they look do this at what very They do this periodically. And you know why? Because the value of G actually changes over time. Mm hmm Again, look, mm -hmm. I'm not denying those you ones in the past. That? I agree, it's been done. Let's get it done. Let's have a look you at it. Let's do it again. You knew that? But we've never ever seen you, it. That's the thing. You know that the value of G changes with time? You didn't. You, you say you know that, huh? Lou, come on. Great, I'm, Stop I'm spiraling in. now, me, okay? Let's tell me, not, um, tell me what causes that. You're all over the place now. All we need is the attraction over. of mass to give flat earthers, like, you're going to shove it right up them or something like Got this, it. right? Got so it. So here... Show Here's your you. force, right? And then just like walk away. You know, we knew you were wrong, you silly flat. That's never going to happen, by the way. But that's what you want to try and achieve in this moment. Oh, bet me. <laughs> and show that we don't oh, know no. what we're talking about. The last thing you want is flat earthers teaching science to the next generation, right? Yeah, how would you teach science, you know? 
So we would show that uh, you would need to observe phenomena in nature, naturally. Give me, give me a curriculum. Give me an outline. What is uh, chapter one? Yeah, observe phenomena. Yeah. Make sure you see something in nature that is questionable, that you're curious about. There's an effect. You yeah, want to know what caused it. Wasn't... Yeah, sure. Well, this... Give me an example. The examples are great when you're teaching. Yeah, so you could say um, an apple falls from a tree. You're like, huh? Uh -huh. What, what on earth caused that apple to fall? Did somebody kick it? Did um, a bird knock into it? Was it lightning? Was it, you know, yeah. was it gravity? So, yeah, Did it, it get pulled? What, what caused the apple to fall? So you can go with uh, gravity if you want. That's cool. The magical You're forces. You're in the class. What is it? No, don't. It's not a multiple choice thing. What caused it? Hold on, just um, yeah, so we're going to find out the cause and effect, yes, so what we do, we say, we ask the children, say, hey, now, every one of you hypothesize, predict a cause, we're all going to come up with different uh, predictions, some will say electricity, some will say magnetism, some will say, you know, something somewhere along the line, one second, please. Oh, Billy, you're so silly, it can't be magnetism, it picks up, or pulls paper down, dumbass. Oh, I've, the never, kids are picking up. Yeah. So I've never been in a science class in, in a sort of middle school or high school that does that. They kind of tell you what's going on. And when you get to kind of university, you kind of have to work out what's going on. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I mean, again, we've got a structure. And um, it's easy for them to follow. You know, like I say... There'll be very few guesses because we'll have experiments to back it up. Whereas you guys now, all of you, you're all guessing that mass attracts mass because you don't have an experiment to back it up. But now again, if BioDuel was able to show this, that in a vacuum the only cause is the mass, this argument right now doesn't even happen. I mean, a question, you... Kimo. If, if we need the experiment to, to sort of be able to teach this in school, why are they already teaching it in school, and why do we have so many reports of this experiment being done? It's to support the narrative. Yes, there's a narrative that the, um, the, glo the Earth is a globe. Well, I don't care about the narrative. I care about the facts. Well, that's it. Yeah, we're going to present the facts. The facts are backed up with an experiment to show cause and effect. You yeah, don't understand and, and, that. And, that, and that experiment has been done thousands of times in thousands of different places by thousands of different people. Yeah. And and that's not enough for you. It's it's got to the point where it's you know this type of stuff is taught in middle school and high school. Wish I got a question for you. It seems like it always gives the same kind of answer. So I mean, how do they get the wind to blow the right direction in all these buildings and all these different experiments? It's weird. Well, everything's been done thousands of times. Measurements, flights to space, flights to the moon, mm. flights to Mars, all been done a thousand times. But mm. the only difference is there's never a demonstration to back up these thousands of times that things have well, I've seen loads of demonstrations. When? Where? Show me the vacuum. I've seen, I've seen a demonstration of Cavendish. I've seen a demonstration of Foucault's pendulum. Um, no, that's your unnecessary criteria ah, that nobody so not else apart from you yeah. wants. Okay, not in a vacuum. So yeah. that's a meaningless criteria. You, know, you might as well say, why not haven't they done that's it That's all we need to address, not in a vacuum. That's all, that's fine. No, no, I'm not going to let you equivocate on that point because it's a meaningless requirement. Okay, how, you how are they meaningless? So you can dismiss all the evidence that's out there. This is an easy get out of jail for chemo card, and it's rubbish. Well, in, unless we have that force, okay, the tides, the planets, the orbits, everything does not work <coughs> without that what mass attracting mass. I was non sequitur because what without I was actually saying, Timo, was the fact that you don't have without, any evidence to, to purport to flat Earth, and we have lots of evidence that has been done over hundreds of years that supports gravity. Not and doubting the any of the and evidence. I'm not, doubting any, I'm not doubting any of the evidence. The evidence needs cool. to be validated and verified. We are the ones you know, in this it, generation. So you do what I want you to do with it. We are the ones yeah, that, in this that, generation that, that, that to validate. That was a valid statement, Kimo. We are the ones in this generation to validate and verify what our the formers, the former scientists, have put forward. 
we need to double triple check that they were not deceiving us yes and what we find so you don't trust the data of course we do, but that's science. We've got to double, triple check. No, no, you don't trust the data. You <laughs> just said that. If you trusted the data, you wouldn't need to repeat the experiment. Well, you that's science. You see the data. So you doubt the data, therefore you're looking to repeat it. That's a you problem. That's you not an us problem. You see the data, you repeat it for the next generation. And what turns out, it turns out that in a vacuum, mass does not attract mass. Can you show me that? Yes, we have papers have done the all over the place. How many times? No, no. Have, have you done a cavendish in a vacuum? I want to see your experiment to demonstrate that. How many times should I tell you we ha we have papers showing pictures of cavendish in a vacuum with no attraction? I I, I would like to see that paper. Can you produce it? Oh my goodness! I've never seen it. Posted it many, many, well, many, many you times. Know that all he's doing is taking the paper and saying that Let it me didn't. Show you. Oh, is this the one Cavendish that was done in a vacuum that they actually said that worked? Right, so we have the... that. And then that it didn't no, I, I, want, I want the paper. I don't want some We've got YouTube the paper. Video. Where's the paper? We've got the paper right with the experiment. Bebor for Life has posted it. Moik has posted it. Perfect. I've posted it. Several others have posted it. We have Cavendish in a vacuum with no movement. When you say no movement, is that because you're looking at a still picture and not a video? Yes. You, Kima, I'm absolutely stunned that you admitted that. So you're saying that because you don't, you're saying there's no movement because you can't see movement in a still picture, though you're doubting all the data that was collected, which is in the paper, I'm guessing. Yeah, we have a paper that says it moved. I'm not, I know that. I'm not arguing that. But the experiment cool. does not show mass attracted mass. The experiment. So what does the experiment show? Let me show him the videos of the Cavendish and vacuum. He says he doesn't see the vacuum gauge. And then after we get in the norm of the vacuum gauge, he's going to say, how do we know that it's really a vacuum? Gosh, this is your yeah, science, so and you're still not even conducting your own science correctly. Well, again, that, that's another vacuous claim that you're making, Chemo, that nobody cares about because we've discussed the scientific method. Is that in a Cavendish? Is that in we've a vacuum, shown, people? We've shown the error in where you're misconstruing the scientific method. I mean, you can't even agree what you're going to apply it on. For Here we go. Ad hominem time. Ad hominem time. But all I'm asking for... Where did I for, attack you? All I'm asking where did for, I attack your argument through you, Chemo? Ad hominem time, ad homs. Where yes. did I attack your argument through you? Where did I insult ad you and say, because you're an idiot, you again, your argument is worthless? Ad hominem me again. That is true, though. You see, you said I don't understand. Now, all I asked mm. for... No, you're, you don't understand what an ad hom is. Ad hom, here we go you. again. I don't understand. More ad homs, here we go again. Um, no, no, that's not an ad hom. Say you don't understand is me giving you my okay, opinion. Okay, now it's the interruption Saying fallacy. Saying you're a fucking idiot and there's no chance of you ever coming up with a decent argument and that's why your argument is No, shit. again, more ad hom, ad hom, you see? Do you see the difference, Kimo? More attacking and not attacking the argument. Nemo, why don't you get on board with what's actually going on here and stop reducing it to because this Because Drus is deranging and then just ad abusing ad hominem me. It's, it's silly. Let us stick to the argument, stick to the point, which is... Off from underneath is unbelievable here. Mm. Look, so, why is so making this so difficult? So we've got the mission from Kimo that the only reason that he doesn't hold to the Cavendish experiment that has been done in a vacuum is because he doesn't have a video of it. Now, I'm guessing when someone produces a video of it, there'll be some reason that it wasn't started Everybody early enough or that, late Drus. enough or Everyone it wasn't edited that... or it is edited. There'll be some reason to then no, discount no, that. No, no, so no, no, why no. should we do it? No, no, Drus. No. Everyone thinks that, but I've given the, um, we've given the rules, the list. We've seen you do it before. You can't just make up things. You can't just make up variables. You can't just make up variables, guys. We're not making like a variable. We're that predicting that your excuses, which you have used No, before. I would have to think of another variable. What variable is causing this other than the mass? Exactly. Would you unicorn would you what, what, unicorn what? gas? Hmm? Exactly. Jesus. Hmm? 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 Gexes? That's the very point. That, that is the beauty of science. Exactly you just like can't you know make things up. It has it's to be something... Know how to share the mic. Well, again, there's three or four of you attacking me, again, ad hominem me, okay? But all I'm doing is asking for mass attracting mass.
and you've received it in abundance, and your only response is to say that it's not science because it's not a video. Your only response is to say that there's a variable that is unknown. Your only response is to ask a question and then immediately go, hmm, exactly, without allowing any sort of rebuttal. You're a fucking joke. Well, if I ask a question of mass attracting mass, and you're like, well, we've done it, and I'm like, okay, can I have a look? And you're like, well, it's on a piece of paper. And I'm like, well, can we see the, see the actual thing? And you're like, well, no. And I'm like, well, okay. And then I'm like, well, there's no thought. So you understand where we are, yeah? So that's why we're arguing a little and, bit. And it's the same way as, so in, in, in the world of chemo, mm -hmm. no witness testimony that a witness writes down is worth anything um, because unless it's on video, nobody can be convicted. This is chemo world. Yeah, but why do you have videos of Cavendish outside of the vacuum? To demonstrate and show us, of course, normally. So you would think the normal thing in a vacuum would be to show Cavendish. Most people don't. 99% of experiments are not videoed, chemo. 99% of people are sheep, yes. And accept anything that they are told. Now, luckily for you guys, we're on the case. We're asking the right questions. And if we can show that mass does not that's attract... That's the rhetoric, then, is it? No, no, we've got BioDuel. He's either going to wear proof... No, 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 you're just going to go back to the rhetoric and the meaningless chit-chat. No, we're looking for science. First of all, we were talking about the obstruction and how we can, you know, explain that. Now we're talking about gravity being a force or not a force, and if there's an experiment to verify that or not. Yes, yeah, I'm not as picky as the uh, flat earthers that you, you see because they, like I said, they will say, No, 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 this is man made, this is not um, an experiment. But I'm like, Look, if we see something moving, we need to know the cause of that, whether it's man or not, right? What cause? We can, we, obviously, we can find out what the cause is, and if it's mass, yeah, and we, we, we've given it a great label already, you know, yeah. we've, we've observed that, 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 that moving object acceleration towards the earth kind of thing and we've labeled it gravity mm. so whilst we have now the name for it you're right some of the underlying causes we may not fully understand but we have a name for the observation and the name for the observation is gravity i mean i'm ready i'm ready to uh to accept this as long as we have the observation which biodual promised i'm gonna say i didn't promise anything but he came in town well, no, no, no. The, the observation has nothing to do with mass attracting mass. The observation is to do with things accelerating towards the Earth. That's where we gave it the, the label gravity. And BioDuel was like, you better, you better recognize who mm. I am because I'm going to show you that mass does attract mass. <laughs> and we, we have, I've seen it in colleges and, and mm. universities. Univers I'm going to catch you later, Chemo, because you, you, you're take not going to Take care, Dress. So, yeah, that's we were not really an okay, interesting take conversation. Care, just, take care, take care. So yeah, we were but thank you for we letting me finish my point without overtalking me. Sorry, you said you were you going. You should stop doing that, Kimo. It's really, really annoying people. Are you staying? Are you going? What's the deal? Well, I'm now debating whether I'm just going to stay. You were like, I'm and, going and now. I'm like, okay, bye. I go. But As we proceed, now I feel you're trying to, to usher me out need. the door. That's giving me a bit of, you know, reticence about oh, leaving. I'm trying to now work sakes. out. Maybe you've got a weird agenda. As we proceed to give you what you need. You are you are badgering, Kimo. You really are. Right. Never stop talking. You need He's to. He's badgering me, Jim. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, you are badgering. You are badgering people. They are badgering me. You're right. You're quite right. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> and and this is why we call you a, a bald faced liar, Kimo. When you do shit like that, yeah, you know what Jim said. Thing, thing. Yeah. So what'd you give up for Lent? So what? You don't want to talk about the shape of the Earth no more? Is that what you're saying here in this moment? What's Just the deal? relax. Let people finish what they're saying. Try not to interrupt. Just relax. You missed Wizard earlier. Yeah. Um, oh, okay, that sounds good to me. Um, I mean, missed is a strong word. So, um, we all Jimo, agree. Did you hear my question? What you, would you give up for wit? For wit? For length? <laughs> um, well, it's not it's about, about any you, culture. Jimo. What about me? The question is about you, man. It's... I was going to say, you should have given up lying. No, I mean, again, when it comes to um, raising awareness, there's no need to lie. Okay? And the truth is what helps the flat earth grow. And that's why people are coming towards the flat earth understanding, because we bring truth. 
and only truth, right? How long? We don't know what the sun is, what the moon is, what the stars are. We don't know. And they think, hmm, that's honest. I like that. Because we get told that they're this, they're that, they're this. All kinds of stories about what they are. See? And then when they hear our take on it, they think, yeah, I can, uh, I can get with that. Just simply don't know, right? So there's some story that gives them all kinds of fantasy, fantasy ideas. Okay? Ridiculous. That's like if somebody, you take your car to a mechanic. Hey, that's the video I showed you, Kimo. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, exactly. Anyhow, um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's like you take your car to a mechanic and, uh, I don't know, you value him more because he's like, oh, I don't know what's wrong with your car. And somebody else comes up with a reason, even though it's not the right reason. Uh huh. Both people would suck, actually. Watch that video that Meatball just posted. I'm watching it right now, yeah. Earlier. There's no vacuum, though, unfortunately. Such a shame. Such a shame. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, Kimo. I kind of did bluff earlier when I said that it was a vacuum. I know, Kosher. I know you guys just want to deceive us. Um, you know, brainwashers. I didn't want to see. I had no clue. I had no clue. So I was safe for me to. Don't worry. You got, you got the first. You got the first. Beeble for life. Did it last week. He said it's in a vacuum. And then we obviously yeah, were yeah. were investigating, and we found it wasn't. Now you obviously today the same. It's in a vacuum. I know you're desperate for this. Don't worry. Bio Jewel is going to do this. Kimo. What? Kimo, I've got, I've got a question for you. If you want to see this experiment done so badly mm -hmm. why don't you enroll in a university and do it yourself you with the proper uh it's been done highlander it's been done not by you it's the last thing he wants to see. Thing. if you want to see it personally mm -hmm. enroll in a university with proper instruction and proper instructors and see it yourself that way you can take your own yes. camera with you and record it. I hear, I hear, yes. Well, the last time Bio tried to go to a university, they didn't have any. There's none around. Tried before Highlander. Great, good option. No success there. That's why, what, what, that's what why Highlander... They don't have any? Yeah, what, there's, no, there's none about, yeah. There was none about, he checked. So that's what, what... There's, there's no universities about? Yes, and there was no Cavendish. There are universities, but there was no. There are no um, vacuums with Cavendish inside. So that's why he said he's going to buy one himself, his own vacuum. Mm. He's going to get the Cavendish. Can I ask a question to people in the room? Can you make a vacuum out of a steel drum? What's the strongest yeah. vacuum you make out of a steel drum? I guess it would depend on how how um, oh. how sealed it is. You can if, if, you, if, you took, if you can make a perfect vacuum out of a sealed steel drum. I don't know if I'm yeah. talking about a fifty. Like you talking about like a fifty. All you all you have to do is have a steel drum. Do not try that with a fifty-five gallon drum. The damn thing will collapse. Yes, yeah. 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 yeah, true. I was going to say somebody cut, cutting suits. it in half probably would help, and then reinforcing the rim. So then probably putting a reinforced rim around the top and the bottom, that might hold it. I, would I, just, I just hold one. Uh, have, put the heads together. Guys, this is it. Guys, guys. Real yeah, science. Submarine. Now we're talking, you see? Guys, hold stuff. on a second. Chemo, my turn. You have submarines that can withstand a thousand PSIs of pressure differential outward in. Yeah, but that's, so, got, that. you know, that's got 55 standard, gallon oil drum, drum, is it? Hold on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Standard standard. Oil. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. Old drum. No, that was wait. the point. Oh, so, so he said, what's the most pressure or vacuum that any steel container could, could withstand? No. Steel, steel, steel oil drum. Oh, it's a five gallon drum. A conventional steel drum. Yeah, okay, I agree. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Like an actual object, because mm -hmm. I can't just, you know, I'm not going to manufacture something. But, um, yeah, because there's I've no excuse, Kosho, after this. None no, at all. I mean, again, I can't even think of another sure, variable. That's right, but it's but I was telling you, Kima, I saw something, I saw several videos with dudes made, like, basically next to free mm -hmm. vacuum chambers, mm -hmm. uh, like, with, like, house with obj uh, household objects. Um, oh, yeah, all you need to know, fridge and uh, a decent top and, and some, a, a decent top and a decent container. And fridge. You, but you guys have got to have agree, though, that if it doesn't, if there is no attraction, you must agree that the Earth is flat and there is no force. Um, hold on a second, I'll show you the attraction. 
There we go. That's the attraction. No, 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 no. When so we when bio to the Earth and we label that gravity. The bio has gone now. He's under so much pressure to get this done. Um... Oh, Kimo, stop the fucking gaslighting rhetoric. It is boring as fuck, mate. Well, it was his claim. He shouldn't have made that claim. No, he was not, warned not that to make bit the claim. of it. I don't mind his claim. It's you continually fucking casting and poisoning the well on people who aren't here. It's sickening. He's stop just it. left. Just left. He was here, uh, writing in the chat box there. But again, he needs to get it done because he knows uh, what I, we're I'm like. Gonna, I'm gonna fuck off because otherwise I'm gonna shout at you because you're just being a dick tonight. All right. But again, it is stressful. Flat okay. Earth is one of the most stressful topics known to man, um, because of the way you've been brought up. And obviously, if we go against everything that you guys know, that is not comfortable at all. And uh, like I said, the last thing you need is, uh, you know, abuse. You... What what me and Bio were doing. We talk about it, find out what Flat Earthers want, what we need, and um, just deliver. And that will shut us up. You want to <clears> really <throat> shut the Flat Earthers up and show the Flat Earthers, you know, we have science, then do science. Flat Earth isn't stressful. It's funny. It's funny that there are grown fucking adults who think the Earth is flat. Well, again, without the force, um, there's nothing to, to um, keep the water on the globe. Nothing. How on earth would it? So, be? so what's your alternative explanation if it's not gravity? It's not a ball. It just sits in a container. What can do? You have photos of this, I take it. No, we have science. We have. Bio no, 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 don't go quoting science because you've already established it. What you say, b for life? I say, who is this bio duel you keep Oh, this guy is going to be the, the main new... He's going to be like the soundly version of Cavendish. So soundly made his name through showing curvature of some sort. You know, optical curvature. Which you will deny. Now, um, bio duel, he's a guy... Came in this room, he was like, "Yeah, I can show Cavendish in a vacuum." And he was like, "I'm going to go to a college or a university and show it." I was like, "Okay, fine." Then he come back. He said, "Oh no, I can't find one in the university or college. There's none around. I can't get it done." He said, I'm going to buy my own vacuum chamber and the Cavendish and show it live on YouTube. I'm like, okay, let's get it done. So now we're just waiting now from December. Blue Marble is working closely with him. And uh, once this is done, Flat Earth for me, again, is going to find it very, very difficult to argue against mass attracted mass. Because we never see you know what I, you, know what, you know what I think is going to happen? I think you're probably going to find a way to weasel a lot of it. And how? Move the oh, yes. like, think, like, think like, how? You how? Let's cover it now. How? Let's say. Let's say we see it live. We see the movement. We you know it's you'll not. You'll find something. How? You'll you're find you're making up stuff. You, now. you will find. You will find something for you. Like Chris, what? Oh, how? Oh, oh it's just it's you you know if we're you watching a live stream. Yeah, he we, blew on it, and that's how it moved, or something like, or a magnet. It was maybe how how wasn't it magnetic or something? You'll find something. Like we just posted many, many, many different, um, different uh, videos showing the Cavendish experiment. They all they all get the same result. Why is that, Chemo? Oh, we know the cause. Yeah. The, the, fact, cause? the fact that there's air pressure inside the uh, the Cavendish experiment is irrelevant to the actual Cavendish experiment. So doing it yeah, in a vacuum correct. is actually irrelevant to the experiment. We'll so find out, won't we? We'll find out, but there's no movement. Because you found something to complain about the original Cavendish experiment, which is, oh my god, there's air in there, which is irrelevant. Well, we'll find out, won't we? In a Cavendish, where there was no movement, you'll be like, oh, there's no movement. I wonder why it's I'm, not I moving. must admit, I am looking Wait, forward on, to finding out just how you fucking wriggle out of this when he shows Cavendish in the vacuum. I am. I'd like to see this mass, farmer's boy. Mass. You watch. There's and nothing I, I can I say. I can't wait to hear what... Bullshit you pull out. I cannot oh, I say a word. Nothing. There's no, if it's not magnetism... I, I can pretty much guarantee... No, the I guarantee you it's going to be it's not a real vacuum. No, yeah. no, 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 no. None Some of that. No excuses. No. There's no vacuum. No, there will be... 
there will be excuses, Kimo, because there what, are like what? excuses. Like what? Well, generally, you're quite unimaginative and it's not uh But there'll be something. Well, yeah, I can give you... Uh, uh, it, it's not a real vacuum. There's magnets there that he's not accounting look, for. Listen. Oh, the, the yeah. list can go on of the variables that you can't see with your own two naked eyes mm -hmm. that you believe is going on in the background. Oh, yeah. that, the again, that is the beauty the of this experiment. So if, if anyone says a variable that they think is causing, they're going to have to show that variable to exist for a start. First thing, does that variable exist? And then they'll have to show it to be the cause of the effect. So there is no wriggle, right. wriggling out of this. The only Except thing that, that makes Kevin this move... that with air when we've shown conclusively that air is not the reason that attracts tracks. Matter. Where? Yet How? You somehow touted as the reason that no, it's invalid. You said you yeah. shame okay. without the air. How? Where? Hey, hey, Kimo, have you ever seen um, a fan, what a fan does in a vacuum? A fan in a vacuum? A fan in a vacuum? Yes. What do you mean a fan in a vacuum? How do you put a fan in a vacuum? How can a fan... They put a fan in a vacuum and they turn it on. Do you know what, do you know what happens? No, no, nothing will happen. Exactly. Nothing will happen. Exactly, yes. That's the point. So Nothing can... will happen. A... That's another good point. Well. Like, the fact that uh, Kimo, the fact that when we do Blue's setup, and he takes the masses away, the uh, torsion beam stops moving. No, 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 I just thought of something. It stays at rest in the middle. But because we and, know um, a fan, when will you not... then put the weights in place, it moves. So what is? Why because is the we wind know, only moving when the weights are in place? Because we now know, we just agreed that a fan will not work in a vacuum. Yeah, you could put a fan in a vacuum question. with the Cavendish and the fan will not even come on and show in there's no air or pressure in there. Actually, no, the fan will come on fine. It just won't blow anything. It won't come yeah, on. Yeah, it won't blow anything. Oh, yeah, the electric. Yeah, it but you won't be able to because there's no, no air in there. Exactly. That's the point. What do you mean exactly? You're completely missing the point here, aren't you? No air in there to cause anything to happen. It's not The fan is not caused by the air in this case. It's caused by the electricity, right? Right, but my and in the Cavendish, it's mass attracting mass. It's got nothing to do with the air. Well, we're going to find out with like, Bebo, not Bebo for life. So we're going to find out with BioDuel. What if we do the Cavendish experiment mm -hmm. it, with an atmosphere with air in there, oh, but no. we don't put the the large masses in there? You would still expect the torsion bar to move, right? Because it's the air that's moving it, according to you. No, we say that mass attracts mass. Yes, there's an attraction between. Uh, uh, so keep your mind up. Is it mass attracting right. mass or is it the air? If the air is the reason that the tiny masses are attracted to the larger ones, then we can prove that by not putting the larger ones in there, right? And watching the air just move the tiny masses freely? Yeah, well, in a vacuum, you'll get no movement whatsoever. Uh, uh, see, this is a problem, Kimo. You're not required to discount air being the cause. You, you, have, you, have you haven't thought it through. large masses, and you should see the tiny masses move. Oh, no, yeah. any movement you... outside of the vacuum is caused by the air. It does not have to be a vacuum to discount air being the cause. You no, just no, have no, no, to no, not no. add the you just have to not add the large masses and the tiny masses should move freely due to air. <sighs> Doesn't. They come to a rest. Again, you're not going to know any the of this. Fact that unless they you... don't. And in fact, that one of the controls in the Cavendish experiment is to let it sit for like a day so that there is no moving air is just an example of how you are fucking wrong about air being the cause. We're going to find out. Uh, with how, about this? how about you answer this? Kimo, why is that not a good enough answer? Because the air is the cause of any movement. How do you know that? Because when it's in a vacuum, it doesn't move. How do you know that? Except because we have a we paper that said, says vacuum. Cavendish was doing a vacuum. That you but... can wait a day for Cavendish and nothing will move. We count for air being the cause. And when everything is still, yeah. then obviously air is not the fucking cause. Now is it, Chemo? Yeah, if it, any movement that happens, the air is the cause. There is Perfect. So Cavendish works fine without a vacuum. Thank you. Yeah, of course it's going to work without a vacuum. The air is going to cause it to move. You know this. The air is not the cause. We just solidified that. The air is the cause because if you put it in a vacuum, it will not move. 
If you, you put it that. in, if you put it without a vacuum, it still won't move. You just have to wait. No, it will always move. Prove it. We've you got can't. it already with blue. No, prove it. You just said it will always move. So you're saying that when you put the Cavendish experiment in there mm -hmm. and you just let it sit for a day, it will continuously move due to air. Yes. Oh, Even dude, though it's been email, demonstrated conclusively that that's not the case, which is why you wait a set amount of time before you introduce the large masses. Yes, but like I say, any movement will be caused uh, from the air. Except that we conclusively see that no movement happens with the air. Even in a sealed box? Yes. When people have done Cavendish in a sealed box, Moves is sealed. Well, if it's sealed, you've got pressure, extreme amounts of pressure. Of course, it's going to move. No, yes, but it doesn't move. Why, the air how? It has it's air. Because right? when you close the lid, you trap the air, and that's going to cause you pressure. Yeah, no. yeah. and it doesn't cause you pressure. You could, weigh, you could weigh. You could weigh. You could weigh that air with that box, right? And it doesn't move. It doesn't uh -huh, move. Ah, farmer's boy, move. exactly. No, no, chemo. chemo. Chemo, that air doesn't move. It doesn't create pressure. You've just trapped air inside, and all you've done is you've stopped the air from moving. Could you weigh the you've air? Could you weigh that, that air? You've taken that doubt away. There's the, it's not the air moving the weights. How can it when it's all in a sealed Could box? Could you weigh that air in that container? What's that got to do with the price of bread? Because if you can weigh it, then it's obviously applying a pressure. <laughs> but what pressure is it applying? Off the walls of the container. Yes, but, but it does not moving, Timo. It's not moving. You're saying that the balls move because of air movement. If the air's not moving, how can it move the balls? If the air's not, not moving, weights. how do you know the air's not moving? Well, it's, it's the balls inside not the box. Ah, how you've got can to put the air be moving when it's sealed it's inside moving. the box? You've got to remove the air. The air's constantly moving. No, no, chemo, chemo, please tell me. If you seal the box up, how does the air move inside? Off the walls of the container. How? Really, Kimo? Come on, be honest. What's making the air move when you seal it inside a box? So you got temperature, yeah? Temperature rises, no, yeah? No, no, temperature's kept constant. How? That's one of the things. How that's do you one, keep the temperature one of the constant? Reasons why you have to let everything How settle. How do you keep the temperature you constant? To... Well, you, but, you keep the temperature uh, constant inside the room. That you've got a gradient. Are you really? Boy, you've got a gradient. Whoa! You've got a gradient in that container. The Is there a gradient in there or not? That's not big enough to have a gradient in there. But there's no gradient yes, in is. there. Whoa. So there's how no big, gradient. How big do you think the box is? Whoa, 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 whoa. So hold Doesn't on. There's matter. no gradient, gradient in that box. So hold on. Slow down. Farmers. No gradient in that box. No. Nope. So all the gas has filled the space. Yeah? Yes. No downward yes. bias. It's equal, pressure. it's equal pressure everywhere in the box. Yeah. yeah. Equal. And no downward nothing... bias. The box is sealed. Where's kosher? There's nothing kosher, that you're moves listening to this. the air. Oh. How much of a gradient do you think there will be in a small... Is there box? a downward bias or Pascals. not? 10 pascals from top to bottom. Yeah, that's fucking... Not, you can't that's even nothing. So there is a downward that's bias. Cool. There's yeah, a downward the bias. How is the gas equally spreading out? Hmm? He's just arguing for the sake of fucking no, arguing. He's got no you, idea you what he's talking about. You want it both ways. Either the gas has a downward bias... Oh. Kimo, I know he's a po. King, he's a King Po. And I really bought you out, don't know why I? it's allowed to go on. King Po. Really right. just going to keep on pulling the strings and watch everybody dance, right, Kimo? Yep. That's what he does. Well, why don't you stop that? No, no, that? but you're asking questions on it, talking now about science. Stupid. Now, Kimo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kimo, Kimo, not that harm. Yourself. Let me preface this sentence without, without, without you understanding it being too, being an ad harm. It's not ad harm. It's, you're just being ridiculous. You're just being, it's getting old. You're oh, ad hominem food. time. Here we go. Go on. And no, I said, I just tried preface it with saying it's not ad hominem. Just like not Chris 10 minutes attack. ago starts attacking you're just, me. You're hmm? just saying, nah, 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 I'm, not over saying over. I'm not saying nah. I'm not saying nah. I'm not saying nah. I'm giving you the variables. Everyone's just dancing for you. And you love it. You love the attention. No, just again, I only care about you the science. The this isn't the chemo show. Just give it a rest. Let someone else talk for a while. Your own words, your own philosophy. Just stop. Come on. No, 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 we can't stop talking it's about science. Like, what, you want to talk about food ridiculous. now or something? 
You want to no, no. Oh, now you have pressure. Now you don't have pressure. Oh, the air's moving. No, it's not. What moving. do you want? You want to socialize for thirty minutes or something? Yeah. Maybe we just need a break from you. All right. I, I mean, think the pose. So, yeah. It's kind of funny, and everyone goes crazy over it for a while. It's like a cat, it's cat catnip for all the intellectuals here. But just stop it. All right. Uh, we'll return again. Uh, see you guys soon.